Number 59 here. We had what, 63 before, right? So, this is a nice little truck. What's that, a 63, four, Chevy? It could be. Old bus over there, that bus looks like it's in its 50s. There's an old Apache truck. Yeah, I'm not going to Spartanburg today. If anybody knows anything about this gonna be an auction or something, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to show up and buy a car too. Uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks each or something, I would imagine. <laughs> Here's that, uh... What year is that thing? I bet you that's in the 60s, huh? That's an old, uh, is that a bucket? Ain't got a bucket in it. Look at that thing, that's wild. I bet you that thing still works. No, I don't see a bucket. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. It's up there behind it. Okay, we're going to do a quick pace through here now. Uh, I just got too much ter territory to cover. So I'm just going to do a fast, fast moving through here. You guys can see what you see. And... It's a 1955 or 56, I'm not sure. Dodge, pickup, step side, short bed. Really solid truck, I got it in a barn. I actually have another video of it when I first went to pick it up. Solid truck, it's got the V8 in it. I started working on the engine. I had it turning over. I just don't have a key for it, so I need to put some power to the points. I gotta put some hoses on it to get it running. She cranks over good though. I believe all the glass is good except for one piece in the driver's door. Yeah. She does roll. It's a three speed on the tree. Showing 22,000 miles, probably 122. Truck is all here. Need seat coverings. Floors are in pretty good shape. Doors closed good and solid. Beds in real good shape. Got some nit the dings and dents and needs paint. It's still got the original wood floor in it but somebody had covered it with this metal plate the gate works good I tried it make a good truck for somebody and we got this old truck over here it's a Ford I don't know what year this is y'all can put a year on this for me I'd appreciate it but it seems solid. Wow, look at the cab on this thing. Look at that cab. I mean, that's nice. Looks solid. Original dash. Floors need a little bit of work. Step boards are gone. I don't know, that should tell you what year it is right there, huh? Front of that truck. No motor in this either. I can look right through that front end. Let's see. Yeah, this would be a good looking truck running down the road too. Definitely. See if this door opens. 
yeah solid i mean solid as can be i love how these floors are you spill any water it runs right out right on the ground yeah look at that old blinker switch deal there that's the old stuff there old keys are in it nice room nice Again, put a year on this truck for me. Gotta check out this International. This thing is sweet and looks cancer free. I mean, this thing is just solid as can be. I mean, this thing is nice. Real nice. Stick shift. I mean, look at that hump in the middle. Not a better, hardly rust on it. What a car. All wheel drive. He called it a 70. He's doing a new carburetor on it. It's like an old Pinto, 71 Pinto carburetor. He's going to try to get to work on this engine. Engine is a uh, four cylinder. She's a nice little truck. Really nice little truck. Big old tires on that thing. That's a scout for sure. What's this, a 56 Chevy? Step side. Another, what's that, a 55 Chevy step side? I call that a 55. <laughs> With a tree growing out, the bush growing out of the middle of the hood, out of the middle of the engine compartment. And here's a old Apache. What's that, 58? Maybe a 59. There's some cool stuff here. He might have 200 cars here going up for auction, or maybe already sold again, I don't know. There's a 59 El Camino. Well, I should buy that because uh, I was born in 59. I've always wanted to get me, a, you know, I bought a 59 Pontiac, but I wasn't really into it. I always wanted a 59 uh, El Camino for, uh, just to have for my year, uh, birth year. Floors are gone. Dash is there. Looks like the original radio's in it still. No seat. Needs a ton of work. I don't know. I got a lot of projects going on right now. Hood is bad. Yep. 59. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. All right, we got here an old fire truck sitting on the side of the road. I'm here in Georgia, Lincolnton. I guess Lincoln County, Georgia. That's a nice little ride right there. Wow, that's cool. Look at the roots growing up inside that window. <laughs> You need to cut this tree away from it. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the inside looks like. Won't be opening today. Oh wow. Look at that thing. That's awesome. Like they had maybe a for sale sign out or something at one point. That'd be pretty neat to do over. If anybody knows a year on this, I would appreciate it. <clears throat> Looks 
like something been living in the back here. Used to have a wood uh, wood floor up in there. What all this stuff's about. She looks in pretty good shape. Just got some mildew and mold all over it. Try this door here in a minute. That is pretty cool. Let's try this door. Oh no, oh, she's locked in. Uh, yeah, can't see in there. I'm heading to Alabama. I stopped to saw this and a couple others on the way. This is the main reason I stopped. Just asking if I can videotape this truck. If y'all could put a year on this for me, I would appreciate it. But that's a big boy right there. Top of that cab is, uh, I suppose with flat tires, is about seven feet tall. Looks like the back of the truck is missing. It is. Oh, look at that, look at that little seat up there. For working the winch. <laughs> Whole tractor seats in this thing. That's wild. Big old boom on it. It's a C, it's a Ford C750. Look that big old chain. That's sweet. All right, you got a square body they're doing here. They actually do some service and the repair also with towing. Big old square body, four wheel drive. They like their square bodies. There's another one over here that he's doing. Little big old slicks on that thing. This is a race truck here. See if I can get a shot. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna shift her in there. Definitely a race truck. And he says they're fixing to the paint this big monster here next to me. Big four wheel drive. Blazer. And like I said, this is a towing place, which I'll get the name off the front of the building when I go back out. And here's an old rat rod. Look at that thing. Dooley's fuel tank in the back. Big old rear end in it. This thing's been chopped. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, I just noticed this, I was leaving. This thing hiding over here. Boy, this is buried in here. I don't think this nose goes to this truck. This is an F F1. F1. I'm assuming it's a Ford. I just can't see it. All together. Let's see if there's a motor in it. I'm assuming there is. There's something in there covering it. See if I can get around it real quick. Some parts for it right there in the back of it. Yeah. Don't know what this is or what year it is. If anybody cares to take a gander, please let me know.
Anyways, this is a 1963 Ford Econoline van. Straight six with a three speed on the column. Motor is freed up. I just haven't got it running yet. It's, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty tight van for the year it needs some paint body work floors need some work dash is in real good shape the truck is all here uh, seats engines all here Got a heater box down in there. It's ready to be towed up onto a trailer. All the doors work properly. Just the back windows have glass in them. Side doors don't. This floor back here is in really great shape. And the back doors are in good shape. Check out this floor. There's the fuel tank and the straps for the van. Oh, there's a box of stuff I need to take out of it. This floor is actually in real good shape except for the side door. I'll check that in a minute for you. The roof is straight, no dents. There's a dent now on the outside. Rust on the floor. That's the extent of it here in this back part of the van. We got some tags in here. Not too many, but I need to sell some of these. 71. I got tons of cool ones though. But anyway, uh, but I'm just keeping them in here to keep them out of the ring. They do not come with a van. Step is good in this van. Needs floors up front though. And that's it. Uh, I do have key. I do have a clear title. And all the glass is good. Let me just double check the back windows. Yep. All the glass is good. 